guys welcome to the video this is Cheryl from create a pop mess um, if you are new to this channel and want to see more videos like this uh, go and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well um, for upcoming videos um, but yeah if you're new here go and do that and if you are already a subscriber welcome back and thanks for watching this video um, so yeah in this video I'll be sharing my top five favorite default procreate brushes where you don't have to worry about messing with any settings or anything like that. Um, I will show you one hack that it, um, I really highly recommend when you're first starting out lettering. Um, I'm gonna show you in a minute. But yeah, these work really great for hand lettering and calligraphy and um, it's just awesome to know that you don't have to worry about anything else. Um, you can use these five main brushes I'm gonna be talking about and as you can see here, it comes out really, really pretty. So um, let me go ahead and come out with, <clears throat> go to a new page so I can show you, <laughs> see all my work there. Um, so the first brush I'm gonna go over, actually before I get started, I'm gonna show you um, when you're going to brushes, any of the brushes, it's gonna be located right here, um, like this little brush icon, if you don't already know. Um, and then we're gonna go into inking and I'm going to talk about the technical pen first. This is going to be the first one I'm going to talk about. But before we get into the that specific brush, I'm going to show you the setting that's very helpful um, if you don't already know. So when you go into the brush, whatever brush you're going into, you're going to click on it and you're going to go to streamline. Okay. Um, when it's set at default, it's usually really low. And what I do is I set that all the way to the max. It's very very important because if it's right here let's say is at a low percent i'm going to show you how it looks when the streamline oops when the streamline is really low i'm not trying to make this look bad this is just how it comes out um whenever you write with it really low okay so when you put it all the way to the max, it makes a huge difference. It looks really smooth and nice and neat and doesn't look all shaky. I'm just writing my name just to show you for example. But yeah, look at the difference. It's a huge, huge difference because when I first started, when I first got my iPad and started, you know, lettering, I did not know about this and this is how my lettering was and I I used to get very frustrated because I could not keep my hand you know it, I couldn't get it to look smooth it was always looking shaky so it's very very important um, you could do this to all the brushes I have this set to the max on all my brushes so go ahead and don't forget to do that first okay so I'm going to talk about the technical pen so we're gonna go we're under inking this is where you get it from and technical pen so you can see I already wrote a couple of examples there that I'm going to go ahead and write out. I use this one just for like when I'm doing practice sheets and I have to put like a little note somewhere and I have to write really, really tiny. Sorry, my it's going out of focus. And I have to write really, really tiny. Um, this is a pen that I like to use, but I'm going to show you how it looks. Um, it's just a fine point brush and it is a uh, pressure sensitive so if you don't know what that is pressure sensitive um, if you have heavy pressure when you make a line or stroke it's thick and the lighter pressure it's thin so if you're doing calligraphy you know that or if you know about calligraphy you know that the downstrokes are thin and the um, upper strokes are thin. So I'm going to show you that it does get um, thick and thin, okay, on this brush. But I don't really use it for that. Like I said, I use it for little notes here and there. If I need to get in a really small space, it's, it gets really tiny. Just showing you what I use that for. You can't really tell it's H. And that brush 
is pressure sensitive, so like I said, thin and thick. So the next brush that I like to use is Jacine, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Jacinski ink, okay? So it's under inking again, and it's right here. And I use this a lot for my lettering. Again, this is pressure sensitive. Um, that one's really pretty. It has kind of like a brush um, texture to it. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. I don't use it really for print. I use it for, you know, modern calligraphy. And I just love that one. So that is the next one. Or one of the ones that I use often. Um, the next one is Monoline. So this one is going to be, we're going to go now under calligraphy. There are other brushes in these that are okay, but these are the main ones you know, like I said, my favorite ones that I use often. So this one's going to be under calligraphy and monoline. So I use this one a lot for like print lettering um, and just lettering like this. It's really pretty. This is not pressure sensitive. Oops, mono. Oh yeah, that's what I know, right? So it's all one size, no matter what type of pressure you're applying down on. Um, see how, like you see, you can see it's just one size. I'm pushing hard, I'm pushing light, it's the same size. So, this one I use a lot for print lettering. And it just gives them a cool, I do a little bit lower. I mean, a little bit lower on the size, smaller size. I just really like this one too. It's really cool. So that is the third one. And the next one is, looking at my notes, streaks. Okay, so this one's under calligraphy too. And it's right here, streaks. This one's really pretty. It's like a brush, paintbrush style. Um, Oops, I like to have it a little bit bigger. Just so you could, it's too, a little too thick for me. Just so you could see the detail in the, the brush. It's really pretty. Kind of messy. <laughs> okay, so that is streaks. I'll show you thinner size. I usually use it on this size though. But whatever size you do prefer, this is just a really nice one. And as I said, all my brushes are set, the streamline is set to the max. Let's see how it looks when this one is not to the max. Yeah, it, <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. It looks really bad. It makes a huge difference when, whenever you have that streamlined all the way. So do not forget. Okay, so last one. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. And then the last one is the one that I use very often. So it's under calligraphy as well, and it's called the brush pen. Okay, this one I love, one of my favorites. 
sets, and this one is pressure sensitive as well as the streaks one. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But yeah, this is one of my favorite ones that I use very often in my work. It's just called the brush pen. So pretty, nice and smooth. I just love it. But yeah, those are my favorite, favorite default brushes. You don't have to worry about messing with the settings or anything like that. So yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. I'm um, going to make a lot of new videos on this channel. Um, you could head on over in my beauty channel, my mom life channel, if you'd like. I'll put that in the description. But yeah, I started this channel because I just wanted something just for my, you know, you know, creativity, anything hand lettering, anything art. I just wanted to make a channel for that. But um, yeah, if you want to check out more videos, go ahead and subscribe. And um, what was I going to say? I can't even remember. But yeah. <laughs> If you have any, oh, I was going to say, my in my upcoming videos, when I'm doing like examples and I'm writing things out, I'm going to ask you guys to comment down your names below. And if you want to get a chance to be, uh, for me to write out your name on one of my videos, like for an example, when I'm, you know, lettering, I'm going to comment your name down below and I will put everyone's name in um, a container and I will pick a name from there and write out your name in a video. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe like I said and I hope you have a great day. Bye!